Hey guys, so for this video, we're gonna look at how you can create one of those conversation activities that has multiple fill in the blanks uh, with the words above the conversation so the students can plug them in. Uh, obviously in the past, we would do this uh, often on paper and students can just handwrite the answers in, but since we're on Canvas right now, or maybe that's not an option for you, let's see how you can do that on here. So the first thing you wanna do on Canvas is click the little plus button over here on the right. We're gonna go to quiz, new quiz. I already made this activity, but I just called it Conversacion Uno. Um, and then I'm gonna click add item. And once I do that, the item comes down here to the bottom of my module. Click on that. And then I'm going to edit this conversation. Now I've already done this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So uh, obviously here's the title of it. I can put my directions on here. Um, this is a conversation, blah, blah, blah. So there are my directions. Uh, over here, you can you have some more, obviously, options of where you can adjust dates and multiple attempts and stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'm going to go into questions. So once you're in here, what you're going to do is click add a new question. And you only want one question. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So your first question will just be called question. You can change the title of that if you want to. Conversacion. And then you're going to choose fill in multiple blanks. Okay. And then I'm going to show you what you do after that. By show you what my conversation looks like. So you'll have something that looks, I don't want to delete this. So you have a blank box right here. What I did was I typed up my entire conversation first. And where the blanks are in your conversation, you're going to type them like this. You're going to do a bracket the, and with the word that's the answer in the middle of it. So for every time I want to have an answer, that's what I've done. You'll notice that there, um, all of my words have a bracket and then the word in the middle of them. And those are the words that are up here at the top. So the first thing I did was I made my conversation. And then once I was done, uh, I just went through all of the words that I needed and I bolded them as I typed them up here at the top so that I remembered which ones to do. I did have two, gusta, two gustas in there. Uh, so I put that on here for this, both the students and for myself twice. Now, there are a couple of things you want to keep in mind when you're doing this. If you're doing a, a foreign language, uh, Canvas does not like accent marks um, in these boxes right here. So like this answer, estas, should actually be, uh, where is the estas? There it is right there. So it should be estas with an accent mark on it. But if I put that in this box like that, then it won't work when I'm creating the quiz. But don't worry, because your answer can be uh, with the accent mark on it. Just when you're doing it here, you can't put that on there. Same with like the uh, the the NEA, for example. And also the other thing is, um, earlier I mentioned that I have two gustas in there. So when you have a word repeated, what you have to do in these boxes where you put your answers is you have to somehow distinguish them from each other. So like if I put, um, where's the other gusta right here? So I've got two of these gustas. If I took this two out, what would happen is one of those answers would not would not be possible on the quiz. So you have to make sure that they're just doing distinguished somehow. Um, what you do once you're done with your conversation and you've put all your words up here at the top is you'll come down here beneath it and where it says show possible answers for, all of these words that I put in the brackets are right here in this box. So what you're gonna do is one by one, you'll click the word hola and then down here where you have possible answer, you'll type in hola. And then when you have uh, estas, you'll, that shouldn't be like that. Okay, uh, you'll type in estas. Uh, but you'll notice that my answer has the accent mark on it. So the students will need to put the accent mark on that word. Estoy will be estoy. So you just click through each one. Two, this two should have the accent mark on it as the answer. It just didn't work in the box up here, like I said earlier. So go through all of these, putting in your each of your answers. And then when you're done, um, I went ahead, since I had 17 words in my conversation, I made it worth 17 points, so it's one point each. And then I clicked uh, update question just to make sure that everything was good to go. And then I want to delete this because I don't want to add that question. Okay, when you're done, it kind of looks like this. So I'm going to hit save. Let's take a preview and see what this looks like. Okay, so this is what the students would see on their end. I'm gonna go through it really quick and uh, I'll get a couple wrong too, just to kind of see what happens. So here we go, give me a second. 
Okay, so I got a few answers wrong in there, so let's see what happens when I submit this quiz. Okay, so it looks like I got four wrong, 13 out of 17. And if I scroll down here, you can see which ones I got wrong. Number this one I put say, it should have been may. I switched these two verbs and then the, the adios. Oh, I put the X mark on the wrong um, vowel. I didn't mean to get that one wrong, I just screwed up. Okay, so my score is 13 out of 17. But anyway, you get the idea. That's kind of how you want to do these conversations on Canvas. If you have questions or need me to um, clarify anything, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time. Hasta luego.